Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're going to talk about the dynamic analysis of a foundation. So how can we use this analysis in any life? So before I start, if you're into civil engineering, especially civil engineering software, just subscribe to this YouTube channel. It will be very helpful for you. So today we're going to see the dynamic analysis of a generator on an elastic foundation. So it can be a generator. It can be a wind turbine. It can be uh, something uh, something that can cause uh, uh, a, di a dynamic uh, dynamic vibrate. It can cause a vibration. So uh, in this case, we're gonna study the interaction between soil and structure. So we're gonna see the uh, the influence of a vibration a vibrating source on its surrounding soil. In this example, so this is the example sandy clay generator. So this example is for uh, advanced. If you're a, a beginner in Plexus, I advise you to watch the rest of my videos and then come back to this tutorial. So these are the objectives here: dynamic calculation, dynamic load, dynamic boundary condition, material damping, which will change by the Riley damping coefficient. So here we can see the input in definition of the stratigraphy. This is the soil. It's a linear elastic model. And then we're going to define the elements, which are, which is the structure, the plate, foundation. Then we're going to assign a load. So let's see them in plexus. I already drawn all the, uh, the model. So this is the stratigraphy, this is the borehole here. So we can see the subsoil. Then this is the structure, we only uh, made half of the structure because it's symmetrical. This is the for uh, this is the force, so we're not gonna assign to it any load. We're gonna assign them in the stage condition. We've generated the mesh flow condition, there's nothing to change. And here is the stage construction. So let's talk about the stage construction. First of all, we're gonna assign the initial. We're gonna assign the initial phase, which is the soil only, the stress due to the soil. So this phase here will only generate the stress of the soil. The second phase, which is phase one, we're gonna add a footing. Activate the footing. We're gonna assign the load this is the load of the generator so we can see it here this is the phase one the plate is uh, activated the load also is activated here it's not activated phase two we're gonna add a dynamic analysis so we've added here a harmonic analysis a harmonic uh, load on the plate So we can see here the load multiplier. We've already added one. I'm not gonna add another one. This is the dynamic load. We can change it here from harmonic to table. We can add any vibration that we want. This is the amplitude of the force, its frequency, everything. And then we're gonna Activate the boundaries here. These are the boundaries. So you defined. So in the minimum there will be none. In the x direction maximum there will be a vis a viscous uh, boundary. Also in the y minimum and in the y maximum there will be none. So in the x minimum and y maximum there will be none. This is y. Y minimum because there. There's also soil here, and the X maximum because it's because there's also a soil here. Here there's none because there's also a symmetrical, uh, symmetrical part of the footing, so we're not gonna take it into account. And here also because there's nothing upside the footing. In phase three, we're gonna stop the generator and set the dynamic time interval to 0 0.5 second. And then we're gonna redo the calculation with the damping 
Okay, so let's see here. Here in the materials, there's no Rayleigh uh, coefficient, so damping is zero. So here, let's see what we did in the calculation. This is the K0 procedure. It's nothing different than the others. Plastic. Here we're going to start the dynamic calculation. Turville 0.5. And here it's the same. We're going to stop here the dynamic load. So here we stopped it. So let's see the results. So we're gonna go to curve generator, curve manager, we're gonna generate a curve. We're gonna choose here time, dynamic time. Here we're gonna choose the first node, which is node 116. And we're gonna choose here total displacement and press OK. So this is the first curve. I'm gonna generate a new one from current project. And then the last one. So these are the curves in the PDF. I'm gonna add it in the description. In the description box, I'm gonna add a link to the PDF. So these are the vibration at different points in the project with time. So here at 0 0.5, you can see that we've stopped the generator and we can see the vibration going through the soil till one second. So I've remade all the calculation with the Riley coefficient equal to 0 0.5 and here we can see we can see the difference between with vibration with damping and without damping. Here we can see that after the soil has uh, the generator has stopped there's no vibration anymore. You can see here that there's no vibration it directly stopped due to the damping. But here you can see that because there's no damping, the vibration continues. So you can use this ex exercise for everything that you have that concerns dynamic analysis that have a dynamic force on it, dynamic load, a footbridge, a foundation, a wind, a wind turbine, a generator. So this is it for this tutorial and I'll be uploading more tutorial on Plexus. Stay tuned.